Hello all, uh, in this video I am going to show uh, how to use your CSF Chimera to build peptide and nucleic acid. So let's start. So we are going to use um, Chimera 1.15 for this. So, in order to build peptide and nucleic acid, um, we need to click on Tools menu and then Structure Editing, Build a Structure. A dialog will appear. So, first we are going to build a sort peptide and uh, it, it will have Press means uh, it will have proline, arginine, uh, E for glutamate, S for serine, S for serine. So total five residues and I'm going to name it as test and then apply. So here a new dialog appears and uh, it is showing this dihedral angles and this dihedral angles decide that whether it will have alpha helical conformation or it will it's going to form uh, beta seed anti parallel or parallel so by default i'm going to choose this alpha helical option okay and you can see this peptide here and we can change the representation of this peptide so ribbon so and we can also visualize the hydrogen bonds so for this surface binding analysis find H bond and this one is so here are two uh, here two hydrogen bonds are present so let's see uh, let's uh, we want to observe the backbone hydrogen bonds so proline is at n terminal and the serine is at c terminal so this one is uh, i -th and this one is i plus fourth amino acid residue so there is a hydrogen bond between co and nh so this is backbone hydrogen bond which is very important for for maintaining the alpha helical conformation and this is hydrogen bond between side chain and backbone atoms but this particularly uh, the backbone hydrogen uh, bond is very important for secondary structures So if uh, we can also label uh, this peptide, we can also label the residues in the peptide. So label residue, one letter code. So let me select first. One letter code. So it's not appearing. Oh no, it's here. So it's not visible. So if we will change the background, then it will be visible. Or we can change the color of labels.
So we are going to change the background. So now you can see the labels, action, oh, sorry, select clear selection. So now you can uh, you can see the see all labels. So this is proline, this is arginine, this is glutamine, this is serine, etc. So press. So in this way, you can build a peptide structure and you can analyze the structure. You can use this peptide uh, structure for further um, analysis or for further your molecular marking work. So in order to save this peptide structure, you have to click on save PDB, then peptide and then save so this structure has been saved so now this I have closed this session and uh, I'm going to build now the nucleic acid structure so for this again we have to go to uh, we have to cl click on uh, structure editing then build a structure and then we have to select this helical DNA RNA option and we are going to build a DNA and uh, we have to give only 5 prime to 3 prime segments so I am entering here data at so data at and this is going to be a DNA, double helical structure, B4, and apply. So this will give, you, give a double helical structure, and we can change the representation, action, uh, nucleotide objects, setting. So we are going to show the backbone in atoms and bonds, and also super base in atoms and bonds and then apply so now all these uh, atoms are visible and we can also see uh, the hydrogen bonds here so surface binding analysis find these bonds okay and now you can see uh, all each bonds Suppose you want to delete one chain, so you can delete the B chain and then um, you can delete it. So let me first save this complete structure. So file, save PDB, DNA, dot PDB. And we are again going to open the saved structure. And we are going to delete one chain so we are going to delete chain b action atom bonds delete so now this is only one chain so sometimes if uh, only one strand of dna is required so in that case you can just delete other strand and you can keep one strand and you can save it save dot pdb dna underscore a dot pdb where a is the chain identifier same so in this way we can generate double helical structure of dna as well as we can generate single uh, single strand dna and uh, once we have these structures, then we can analyze these structures and uh, we can do many, uh, we can use these structures for further molecular modeling jobs. So thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.